And speaking of the U.S. Supreme Court, today they agreed to take a case out of Oregon from the city of Grants Pass down in Josephine County. This is a huge deal for a lot of reasons. Maybe the biggest, the outcome could reshape homeless policies across the country for years to come. The case involves five laws that Grants Pass enacted that basically allowed them to punish homeless folks for sleeping in public places, even if there was no shelter available. Last year, the federal Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals said, no, 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 you can't enforce those laws. They relied partly on a previous case, Martin v. Boise, that said you can't punish homeless folks for camping in your city unless you have a shelter bed available for them immediately and they refuse to take it. Otherwise, the court ruled it violates the Eighth Amendment regarding cruel and unusual punishment. Following that ruling from the Ninth Circuit, the city petitioned the U.S. Supreme Court to take another look at the case, and they gathered support from some unexpected people and places. California Governor Gavin Newsom, the San Francisco City Attorney's Office, the City of Phoenix, and many others submitted their own briefs, urging the High Court to take up the case and help clarify how cities can respond to homeless camps. The lawyer representing the city of Grants Pass released a statement today saying the previous rulings from the Ninth Circuit in this case and Martin v. Boise, quote, are legally wrong and have tied the hands of local governments as they work to address the urgent homelessness crisis. The tragedy is that these decisions are actually harming the very people they purport to protect. Not everyone agrees with that, of course. The lawyer representing, representing the other side said, quote, some politicians and others are cynically and falsely blaming the judiciary for the homelessness crisis to distract the public and deflect blame for years of failed policies. The U.S. Constitution does not allow cities to punish people for having an involuntary status, including the status of being involuntarily homeless. This is a case that we're going to be following closely because of the huge implications that come along with it. The Supreme Court plans to hear this case in the spring.